Representing the pontoon category, the Fiesta Beachcomber 24 has an overall length of 24 feet, a beam of 8 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 300. Designed for cruising with the family, she has a dry weight of 3,000 pounds and a fuel capacity of 32 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts, Dave East and Rick Riles. Let's take a look at this 24-foot pontoon boat. This is the Beachcomber Family Fisherman by Fiesta Marine Products. And, you know, where a lot of companies out there are building pontoon boats, and they came really from up north, the freshwater market, and now they're making their saltwater version. The difference with Fiesta, they've always been a Florida company, and they've always built pontoon boats for the saltwater environment. Okay. We're sitting here on this sandbar. We're surrounded by four different pontoon boats. Right. And you keep touting the fact that this one's built for saltwater. What's the difference? Well, their construction method. First of all, you don't see any carpet. Right. Okay? We've got fiberglass on top of this floor, so this can be easier to maintain. It's a good anti-skid to where if it gets wet, or you, this is really a boat you can fish off of, so you can get some fish guts on it. Look underneath. Most pontoon boats, when you look underneath, you see raw wood. Not that it's not treated, it may be, but on this one, they use an aluminum that has an alloy that's made for a saltwater environment. Just look at the sheer size of their pontoons. It's 28 and a half inches around. What that does, it gets the boat a little higher in the water. This is a boat that you're gonna run in rough conditions. And the problem with the pontoon boat, if you bottom out that tunnel, it's a pretty rough ride. But the higher you can get that deck off of the water, the better ride you're gonna have. Well, I can tell you what appealed to me about this boat right away. I could see my wife get mad at me this is my man cave. Oh yeah. It'd, it'd be hard to find something more designed to, for comfort than what this is. Well now, just beyond the comfort fact, this is a boat that you can really fish out of. You can, it'll accept a bow-mounted trolling motor. You've got provisions for two bow-mounted seats up here to fish from. You've got rod holders. You have a built-in live bait well. If the kids want to be drugged by a water toy, you got the provisions to do it back there with the tow bit. So it's not just a cruising boat or just a fishing boat. It's really one boat that can do anything the family wants to do. All right, Dave, let me welcome you aboard my future man cave. There's some stuff I want to show you. Check this out. Got my rod holder right here, my drink holder right here. Heck, I can shut, set my jar of Uncle Josh pork rinds right there. Bubba, I am ready. Well, the biggest thing about a pontoon boat is just this. It's comfort. If you're going to take a lot of people out and you want everyone to have a good, comfortable place to sit, so these boats are all about. This boat's fun. This boat isn't a serious fishing boat. You can fish from it, you can fish pretty hard, but this boat is designed to have a good time. Any pontoon boat, really you could be bringing kids on board. You want a really nice high fence. This boat absolutely has that. It's got three gates on it, plus an additional one in the back to get on and off fuse where the swim ladder is. But where the side gates come in is when you pull up to a dock. Once you've stepped on and off a dock through the side gates, you'll never have a pontoon boat without them. Man, when we were kids, how much did we laugh at Bimini Tops? <laughs> now the first thing we did when we got on the boat on a hot morning like today was put it up. Well, one thing a big Bimini Top like that will let you do is stay on the water longer. Because by 11 o'clock, 11.30, it starts getting hot and you start looking toward the dock. With something like this, you can spend all day long out on the boat. And if you get a bit of rain, it gives you some place to go and kind of get out of the weather. Let me show what I'm talking about with this shade. Oh, I hate it when she sends me to my room. <laughs> I'm so uncomfortable. Well, like I said before, comfort, that's the main thing you're gonna find in a pontoon boat. This is ridiculous. This is like sitting in my living room in an easy chair. Oh yeah, and maximum seating, oh my gosh. One, you could easily seat 10 people on this boat. But not only that, with those 10 people, they're gonna bring a lot of stuff with them. Under all this plush seating, it's all storage underneath. And you know what I like they taught me too? Is this, does not reach all the way down to the deck. Now, your first thought may be, oh no, water's gonna get under, it's gonna get wet. But what it does here is it doesn't stay, Dave. It's open in the back, so it just goes out. Plus, there's nothing to rot, because they don't build these seats out of wood. It's all composite. So, I mean, this as long as you keep your, your um, vinyl protected, this still lasts for a long, long time. You're gonna be bringing your family on board. Women, especially small kids, they're gonna want a place with a potty. They made provisions for that. Actually, this area in the back right behind you, it's a room that pops up, give them some privacy, but when you're not using it, it's down, it's out of the way, you really don't even know it's there. Plus, it makes another nice little sun pad to go sit on. It's called maximizing your space. I can't think of a more perfect model name than Family Fisher, because that's really what this boat does. You can take the family, but you can also take the boat fishing. So they've taken both worlds and they combined them. I think they've come up with a great layout.